Hey, sorry, just before we start, I noticed while editing that there was some kind of clicking sound during the intro. I think it's coming from the camera, but I'm not sure. I couldn't remove it, so yeah, I just wanted to apologize for that. But don't worry, it will be gone when the sketchbook tour starts. So yeah, that's all. Enjoy the video. Hey, so um, sketchbook tour number nine. So, uh, like I said in my previous sketchbook tour, I was drawing in the sketchbook and in the previous one at the same time, kind of. But I finished the other one first and then I came back to this one and finished it later. So that's why I'm doing it um, in this order. It was um, a sketchbook that I got, I think it was uh, for Christmas or my birthday or something like that from a member of my family but you know like someone gives you uh, a sketchbook but they you know, check if uh, it's like blank pages or if it's like lines or dots uh, so yeah that's what happened with this one because there are lines on the on the pages but I don't mind it's like just a sketchbook so yeah, it doesn't really matter, it's just to, to do those things in it. Okay, so let's start. So yeah, like I said, I started it in 2018 and finished it in 2020. So it took me two years to, to complete it. But in my defense, there's like a lot of pages in it. So <laughs> that's why it took me so long. But also because I started using the, the other one too. So, so yeah, so that's the, the welcome page with me. And um, I think it will be interesting to see the moment where I stopped using it uh, because then when I started using it again, I think my style evolved a bit. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, a piece of paper that I found the other day and I added in it, uh, I think it was a list of potential names for one of my characters. There we go, that's the name I, I picked. And also for another character whose name is uh, Maurice, uh, that you'll see a lot in the sketchbook because I think, uh, yeah, it was in this one that I started drawing them and uh, finding their car designs. So yeah, there it is, Eriko, so the, the, the main character. It was for um, a webcomic that I started doing on uh, Tapas and it was about that uh, person who is studying in an uh, art school because <laughs> when I uh, created them, uh, I was also in art school, so uh, yeah. And, uh, that's like a list of stuff that I was figuring out about their characters. And um, uh, Eriko is, uh, I think they're like non-binary or gender fluid. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> my own characters, but uh, it was like when I was starting to, to think about my gender and uh, yeah, so I kind of put all of those um, thoughts in that character <laughs> so I could like experiment with it, I guess. So that's uh, Maurice, Eriko's friend. He's really shy and just like a calm guy. So here they are, they are again in like winter clothes. That's me like as a Splatoon character. <laughs> I, I don't even play Splatoon that much. I tried to play it like uh, twice <laughs> or something, but I'm just so bad at it. I don't really play it uh, that much. And here are some of my friends as Splatoon characters too. And uh, that's uh, Eriko and Maurice, but older. And here they are younger. I think there will be some stuff that I will remember while uh, looking through the, the sketchbook <laughs> because I don't have a very good memory and uh, it's been a while since I thought about these characters. Here they are again, playing and listening to some music. No, that's, uh, these are uh, my cousin's dogs. Sadly, um, this one, uh, his name was Wilson. Uh, he passed away recently and um, that's her name is uh, Rosie. They're really cute. <laughs> and that's some uh, recos that I 
sticked here. Oh yeah, <laughs> so Erico and Morris also uh, have like a little uh, romance thing. Uh, that's Jade, that's uh, another one of the, the characters from the webcomic. Oh by the way, the, the, I don't think I mentioned it, but the, the name of the, the webcomic was uh, Fruit Loops. And uh, it's still available on Tapas. I just don't updated it since uh, <laughs> a while. I did finish a few pages that I posted, like, I think it was one year ago or something. But I don't really uh, work on that story anymore that much. But uh, you can still read the, the beginning. Maybe I'll, I'll continue working on it someday, but I just it's just not in my plans to, to do that. So uh, yeah, Jade was like childhood friend from Eriko and they're like kind of friends to enemies <laughs> or something. I don't know if I should like reveal their story or not, if I ever plan on continuing the webcomic, but nah, I guess I, I can. But uh, yeah, they knew each other when they were younger and there's some angst <laughs> and now uh, Eriko is kind of scared of, of Jade because they all go to the same art school, of course. Eriko is kind of avoiding uh, Jade because of stuff that happens in the past. Oh, that's <laughs> Link. That's uh, my little persona. In, uh, I was uh, dressed like that for... I don't think it was like Halloween. It was... Um, Another thing that we have here in, uh, in Geneva, it's called uh, l'escalade, and it's like um, a historic day. I I don't know how how you call that. There's like a whole story, and uh, but everyone puts on some uh, costumes and was at school, so it was fun. Uh, that's my persona again, and one of my my friends' uh, persona. Uh, that's in two other characters from the Fruit Loop story, uh, Eleonore and uh, Sean, and uh, <laughs> his nickname was uh, Toboggan, which means uh, slide in French, uh, because of his hair. It's kind of wavy and it looks like a slide. <laughs> Sean is like the, the popular guy in the art school. He's cool, he's nice. And uh, Eleanor is quiet, and um, and she doesn't she doesn't speak a lot. I don't think she really appeared yet in the in the pages that I've posted. But um, yeah, that's a character that I made for this story too. And that's another one uh, called Yanis. He's a shy uh, guy. He wants to present himself more feminine, but he's scared too because of you know like. Uh, people judging him and stuff and his family and uh, so he, he does he does it like um, in secret and uh, he has a, a crush on uh, on Sean who also has a crush on Yanis but he doesn't know it and then they end up dating and uh, that was Maya uh, another character that I barely uh, developed. I just had this idea for her character design, but I never really uh, thought about uh, that character that much after that. Here I was exploring how Eriko and uh, Maurice's bodies look. Like Eriko is more on the uh, chubby side, and um, Maurice is really slim, and uh, that's a uh, <laughs> Maurice and Eriko as uh, like uh, furries. <laughs> so all the, the Fruit Loops characters. Uh, that's my uh, avatar, the last hairbender, uh, Zona. Uh, I don't remember what his name was, but he was like a earthbender, I think. I did like a, a digital piece of, of him some time ago. That's me in like, uh, I think it was an outfit that I had for for a day or something, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. But that was, uh, uh, I think it was like an app on my phone, like uh, Picruz. She was cute, so I drew her. Erica and Morris doing some smoochies. That's me again. It was uh, at uh, one of my friend's birthday. We had to dress all uh, elegant and cool. So that's the uh, outfit that I had. 
more ideas for uh, Yanis. Mm. Uh, that was when he I had this idea that uh, in one of the <laughs> episodes uh, they all would have a, a sleepover and um, that's when Yanis finally opens up about wanting to like wear makeup and, and present more feminine and everyone is really encouraging and nice and yeah, I thought it was a cute idea. That's my uh, late cat, Flora. Oh, <laughs> I don't remember his name, but uh, the main character from Avatar, The Last Hairbender, and uh, I think it was Zuko, and uh, I don't know who that is. Oh yeah, that's my character, um, uh, Arizona. I think I've talked about him a bit in previous sketchbook tours, but uh, uh, if you don't know him, it was a character that I had for uh, a story idea that I have from like 2015 or something. It was <laughs> a long time ago, and uh, he's like uh, he's friends with uh, a mermaid whose name is Algae. There will be probably uh, more sketches of them in the sketchbook too. Maybe I don't I don't even know. Uh, oh yeah, so that's uh, Saro. That was like my uh, avatar, the last hairbender, Zona. Oh, and I, I imagined uh, like my parents if they had uh, avatar Zonas too. So my dad uh, would be either a hairbender or earthbender, and my mom would be like uh, a waterbender. Like not, uh, I don't remember if everyone are benders in the show. It's been a while since I watched it, so I don't remember uh, everything that's happening. But uh, yeah, the, she's from the, the water tribe. And my little brother too, <laughs> Lens from <laughs> Voltron. And uh, I, I don't remember his name, but like the, the guy from Avatar, The Last Hairbender, who has kind of a similar personality to Lens. That's why I drew them together. That's, um, uh, I don't remember their names. That's, um, character that I used for my Jotis in your style challenges. I think I did like two of them and I reused the same character uh, for, for those. And that's a little rainbow to Pondo from Simon Universe. A link, Morris and a sad Eriko. Oh yeah, um, Sean, like the, the character with uh, wavy hair. New Morris uh, from elementary school. <laughs> and that's me uh, suffering because of when I was in art school for my graphic design um, diploma and I was convinced that I, <laughs> that I was gonna uh, fail it. But in the end I, I, I did it and uh, well it was mostly uh, thanks to, <laughs> to the Covid, like it was just when it started and uh, so the, the exams were uh, a bit shortened and I think that's what saved me, uh, honestly, because if we if we had to do like the the whole thing, the whole exam, I'm I think I probably would have uh, failed it. Sean and Yanis. Oh, so that's when I stopped using it. Here I wrote um, I uh, I stopped using the sketchbook around uh, March 2019 uh, for another one, but I picked it up again at the beginning of 2020. Oh, that's some uh, lesson notes that I took in class. It's like about uh, fonts and uh, like types of fonts when they were created and it's actually uh, really interesting but yeah the lessons were really long and it was a lot of information and um, I'm not the best at like listening to a lot of information like that for a long period of time. But here I, I think I was trying to, to make an effort to, to learn and, and try to do it well. It was kind of rare, but I did it that time, so <laughs> yeah. That was an idea for a page for the webcomic with uh, Yanis. He was uh, looking at Sean's Instagram page. That was my uh, Jamesana. Uh, she was uh, a rose quartz, but uh, she was uh, 
short like uh, amethyst. More uh, lesson notes about fonts, uh, my gemstone again, and uh, I was trying to figure out where her gem would be on her body because um, there was like a theory, I think it was a theory, about like the placement of the gem and how it would affect uh, the character's personality. Like the ones who had like on their foreheads uh, would be more logical and uh, thinkers and etc. So mine had like on her on her belly. Still my gems now. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, really bored. I was probably at school, and um, that's Krem, my my cat, who's uh, sleeping like right next to me here. <laughs> here I wrote too much space to to fill on those pages, and I still uh, struggle with like big sketchbooks because I I feel like I have to fill them more, but it's not as easy to feel like as smaller sketchbooks. So that's why now I think I, I pick mostly smaller sketchbooks. I feel uh, more satisfied uh, more easily. <laughs> uh, here I was trying to draw people in my class without looking at the paper. Uh, <laughs> and I, it was uh, during the, the French and uh, art history class and the teacher um, <sighs> he was uh, something, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's say he wasn't the best teacher uh, in the school. <laughs> Here I wrote, French class makes me draw weird things because I am bored. <laughs> and that's, that was true. I was trying to find a gems enough for my little brother. He had one. Uh, that we made a long time ago, like back in 2014 or 15 or something. And um, he was uh, citrine, I think. And uh, here we were trying to, to find a new one. <gasps> oh, I don't think like a lot of people know about that show, but it was an Italian show that was called Angel's Friends. And I was obsessed with it. When I was... I think I was like nine or ten and it was about like <laughs> uh, angels and demons uh, going to an angel and demon school and they were not allowed to touch each other but these two fell in love <laughs> and yeah they were, oh. it's really funny it's like it's a bit stupid <laughs> I loved it so much and I, I watched it again and all of the the memories came back to <laughs> me while watching it oh my god oh yeah it was in 2009 so I was eight Steven and Connie and Steven wearing kids outfits cute people from Instagram more class notes about fonts again. Oh, that's um, ideas for my grandfather's birthday gift. And I made him like a small comic book about him and the things that he likes to do. More Steven and Connie. Uh, more ideas for my brother's Gemzona. Oh, that's a... Uh... <laughs> Roxas from Kingdom Hearts was uh, my my brother's favorite character from Kingdom Hearts. I don't know if you know about uh, Tectonic outside of France, but it was a dance trend that was around uh, 2008, I think. It didn't last for very long, but <laughs> the, the kind of patterns that he has on his clothes, it reminded me of this, so I drew I drew him. Oh yeah, he also had like the the bracelets with the, the same patterns that people who were into that trend were wearing. So yeah, that's why I drew him here, dancing tectonic. Vent art with Steven. <laughs> oh, uh, those were uh, drawing requests from one of my friends. It was uh, his characters from a story that he was writing. <laughs> that's me uh, wanting to, to live alone in the woods and eat fish <laughs> in the rivers. <laughs> I, I think school really affected me a lot. Oh man, more uh, school notes, uh, but 
Uh, this was about the the big final exam that I was convinced I would fail, as you can see here. Um, yeah, it wasn't the best time of my life, but I survived. I'm here now. It's all that matters. Uh, more school notes with random doodles. Thank you, doodles. Kirby's! Cool notes again. It was an exercise that we had to do with, um, you know, the coffee maker of the brand uh, Bialetti. I think I was kind of happy with the, the results of my... If I can find it again, I'll show you it on the screen. More planning for that uh, same exercise. It was like a really short song that I wrote. It was on the ukulele, probably. Don't remember how it went, but uh, there it is. Uh, more school uh, notes about uh, logos. Steven Universe characters, but uh, in Animal Crossing. I did a digital piece of it too. It was when uh, Animal Crossing New Horizon came out. And here with uh, my Frozuna, my cat Creme, my friend's dog uh, Shishi, <laughs> my other friend's bird Pichun, and my other cat Flora, and uh, me wishing I was an Animal Crossing character. Oh, to be an Animal Crossing character. <laughs> some uh, cute dinosaurs. I think it was uh, some ideas for my little cousin's birthday gift. I think. More school notes, yay! How to make. Uh, portfolio. That was for another exercise. I don't remember what it was really about, but uh, there was bananas. I had this idea of including uh, Mario in the cards. Uh, more school um, planning uh, for another exercise. It was for the uh, illustration class. We had to choose from uh, several movies. Like it was mostly old movies, like black and white movies. And I chose uh, one that was called uh, Jour de Fête. It was a French movie and uh, about I think it was yeah a mailman. Yeah, and uh, I had this idea to make it like some kind of stamp. I think I never got to finish it because of yeah I think it was because of COVID nineteen when it when it started. But I. I think I did uh, like the, the main drawing. If I can find it again, I might show it. Mm, that's me with my cat. It was probably Flora because Creme uh, isn't as cuddly. Oh, and that's my character for the, the small video game that I made for uh, an exam at school. There's a video on my channel where I, I do a playthrough of it. If you want to watch it, I'll put the, the link in the description. Uh, that's the sweet biscuit boy from the My Draw This In Your Style challenges. Some ideas for my Animal Crossing Island. It was before the game came out. I was already planning my island, how I wanted it. And with some island names ideas. And uh, I ended up picking Kaki, uh, which is still the, the name of my island now. Because Kakis are my favorite fruits. I even named my one of my cats Kaki. It was another illustration exercise for school. Lapis Lazuli, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, more of my um, Frisna. Uh, there was uh, another Frisna that I made. She doesn't really have a name, but she was a little cow. Uh, Posca Doodles. Uh, oh, that's um, a drawing that I made like bigger. I think I, I drew it on on paper with a pencil and then I colored it digitally. Uh, those were sketches for uh, the the ending of Steven Universe, and uh, I think I drew it with uh, watercolors and colored pencils. That's me and one of my friends. Heartstopper fan art when I was reading the the webcomic Freddie Mercury. It was probably at the same time that the, the movie about Queen came out. And that's based on like pictures of him carrying cats. That's me. 
test prints for... Uh, it was another exercise that we did uh, at school. I drew this for an Instagram Q&A. The two characters that I was talking about, Algae and uh, Arizona, like the, the mermaid character. That's when the, the Voltron, the, the last season came out. <laughs> he was trying to... <laughs> I was trying to defend myself and uh, convince myself that I was valid for still liking uh, Voltron because the characters were important to me even though the show <laughs> sucked. Here I was trying to figure out the the timeline of my like of my life. <laughs> I mean, like since uh, since I was 13 until uh, 2020, and uh, yeah. He all wrote, uh, I'm scared to say that I liked the season for some reasons because I'm afraid people would be mad at me <laughs> about the, the Voltron season, the last one. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was what it was, but uh, I think I, I still enjoyed uh, some stuff about it. Not all of it, of course. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, uh, Lens was an important character for me because I... I related a lot to him, so um, yeah. I think I'm allowed to to enjoy it even if it was uh, what it was. Mm, Sally face some uh, Erico. Uh, yeah, it was for another Q and A on Instagram where people could ask them questions. Oh, that's a um, uh, fan art of uh, a web comic called Long Exposure. Uh, that was made by uh, Marsoid. I think that's still their username on Instagram. It was a really cool webcomic. I liked it a lot. Uh, Erico and Morris. Some ideas for my for my James Luna. This kind of looks like Steven from Steven Universe. I think I made this with like old pastels or something. More school stuff. Oh, here one of my uh, friends from... Um, I don't know how what's the equivalent for that kind of school, but it was when I was around 15 or 16 years old. One of my friends contacted me to design a tattoo for her. I don't think we ever continued working on that, but yeah. Some uh, Rebecca Sugar doodles. Here I wrote, uh, thank you so much for inspiring me all these years. I will always be looking up to you. Rebecca Sugar was a really big influence on what I wanted to do in my life. I, I think she she's the reason I wanted to work in art and make cartoons or comics or stuff like that. So yeah, she she's a really important part of what I wanted to become. And uh, yeah, some doodles of childhood. Uh, cartoons that I watched with my brother when we were younger uh, and that was a sketch for one of my friends birthday gift more school stuff and sketches for Steven Universe watercolors that I did and uh, those are some doodles of, of me uh, more school stuff it was an exercise where we had to design a stamp more uh, childhood cartoons and uh, Vistar's fan arts. I don't think I've watched season two yet. Monster Steven from like the, the ending. I mean, those are big spoilers, but uh, the show ended like four years ago. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm allowed to show some, some spoilers now. I can't remember, how did she, how did she become so tall like that? <laughs> I don't remember what happened. Oh, um, there was a new design for Arizona, uh, my character. More of, of them. Uh, I mean, like, Algae and Arizona. I really like those characters. Uh, I have to, to draw them again sometime. Uh, I wanted to, to reanimate a scene with Opal from Steven Universe because I think it was the first scene that I've seen uh, of Steven Universe. Like, the first episode that I watched. Yeah, like where it all began. <laughs> Bismuth and, and Pearl from Mr. Universe. That's my cat Flora. And that's me in, uh, in Animal Crossing. 
more Steven and Connie. Oh, and that's uh, Blue and Perla from... Wait, no, uh, her name is not Perla in English. Uh, I think it's Jewel, but in French her name was uh, Perla from the movie uh, Rio. Oh, and that's uh, my character Grey. <laughs> Uh, it's one of my oldest OCs that I had, like the one with uh, grey hair. If you've watched other of my videos, uh, you've probably seen him before. I should draw him again. Uh, more school stuff was for my portfolio. It's funny because um, I remember it now. I put like some kind of little persona who was explaining stuff about uh, what was happening in the portfolio. And uh, it's the same kind of design that I used in the few first sketchbook tours on my channel. So yeah, that's where I got the inspiration to do that. Oh, I'm just noticing it now. Uh, you see the little Steven here? Uh, I did a little like animation with him on each uh, corner of the pages. I don't know if I can make it work because there's not a lot of pages, but I'm gonna try. You know what? I think I can make it work with uh, editing. Uh, that was an idea of an animatic with Stephen and Connie and a song from um, Emily King. The song was called Distance. I love Emily King's songs. Uh, if you don't know her, you should go listen to her music. It's like really soft and nice. But I never got to, to do that animatic. Oh, and <laughs> this is a... Uh, uh, you're gonna see a lot of these characters in my next sketchbook, I think. It's uh, another hyperfixation that I had around 2020. Uh, it's called City Hunter. It was an anime and manga from uh, the, the 80s. 80s and 90s. I had a really big hyperfixation on that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, here's uh, Ryo. He, he was like the, the main character and he was really like silly and goofy. And that's uh, Kaori, other main character, with uh, Ryo again. My characters are Gay and Arizona. Uh, I think that was based like on a an Instagram thing where people asked what kind of um, creature they would be based on their their vibe <laughs> or something and I got a pixie witch so I, I made like a small character based on that uh, that's uh, oh I, I can remember her name from Animal Crossing my characters uh, Yanis and Sean again <laughs> this makes me think about that picture of uh, the two girls putting makeup on each other. And here I wrote like a little list of stuff that I wanted to change about my art style because you know you can never be completely satisfied <laughs> with how your art looks and uh, there's always stuff to, to change and to improve but I think it's interesting to see how I viewed my, my art style back then. Uh, the, the three diamonds and the uh, spin out from Steven Universe but like human versions me and my cat Flora oh and here's the, the backstory of Eriko and uh, Jade Jade had a crush on Eriko uh, when they were like 12 or 13 or something and so Jake had a crush on Eriko and Eriko rejected her even though they had feelings for her too but they were anxious about it and they weren't sure about their identity and stuff so they they grew apart and um, Eriko felt very bad about it uh, and Jade pretends that she forgot about it like she's cool and more but still kind of affected she doesn't have any romantic feelings anymore so yeah that was their backstory more uh, portfolio stuff I don't think you can see very clearly because there's like a lot of colors on the next page <laughs> So that's uh, Rio again from City Hunter. Some uh, studies like ears, noses, feet, and stuff. <laughs> Kaori again from City Hunter. That's me. <laughs> that's my little brother. It's like every funny video that we have of uh, him and me. And he got really, really angry. Some uh, body types studies from Pinterest or something, probably. 
more city hunter to do. That was like from a, that was from an episodes that uh, that didn't exist in the in the manga that they made like exclusively for the the anime. But uh, it was a really cool episode. Oh, and we're already at the end with more city hunter doodles. So yay! And there's like a little pocket in here, some kind of stuff in it. And ah, that's um, those were lyrics for the Emily King song. Uh, you know the one for the for the animatic with uh, Steven and Connie. And it's done. Yippee! Okay. Yay, so um, I hope you, you enjoyed that little sketchbook tour. We are getting closer and closer to the more recent ones. I actually kind of consider this one like a more recent one. From 2020 onwards, I, I think those are more recent sketchbooks that I have. Uh, I'm really excited to, to show you the next ones. If you want to see more of them, I have like a little playlist where you can watch the other ones that I made before. So the, the first ones are a bit old now. I'm already kind of awkward when I <laughs> talk in those now. So you can imagine like the, the first ones are even more awkward. But um, yeah, if you want to watch them, you can. And uh, yeah, thank you for, for watching. I hope that you're doing well and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!